Some political actors, notably the NDC, had cause to complain about the conduct of the voters' exhibition exercise by the Electoral Commission. Weeks after that, a lawmaker from their fold wants to injunct the crucial December 17 elections due to the status of the voters' role. Here are the concerns of Elembele Member of Parliament, Imano Ama Kofibua. I, I tried to ask that uh, uh, I tried to ask the speaker to uh, uh, guide me to basically summon the electoral commissioner to, to come to parliament to explain what has happened and to uh, give us the, 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 the steps they are taking to rectify the matter. And I believe that if that has not been rectified, the EC has no business to conduct any elections in this country. And I have to tell you that we are proceeding to court to put an injunction on this district assembly election and the referendum until these issues are, are rectified. It has to be upsetting. We should be very, very upset. I mean, you, you guys should see how much money has gone into the, that exercise. And for us to know half a million Ghanaians, according to the data we are getting, including 5,000 from our own district, have been disenfranchised. On the floor of the House, the majority leader announced that as part of processes to get MPs ready for the crafting of a bill to amend the Constitution with regards to election of MMDCs, that's the Constitution Amendment Bill, there would be a workshop over the weekend for members of Parliament in the Eastern Region. Indicate to um, those of us involved, especially the Committee on Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, that the workshop on Article 1815 and the other constitutional provisions which require Parliament action and which unfortunately for 27 years have not as yet been attended to, including in particular Article 22.2 of the Constitution and Article 1815 of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, we want to bring these to the front banner and give some, uh, provide some illumination on them in order for us to know what steps to take in the implementation of um, the imperatives imposed, imposed by these provisions. The speaker, so the workshop on it is going to be at Cofodia uh, beginning tomorrow evening. Very little business occurred on the floor of Parliament today and the House went into adjournment up until next week because members are actually going to Cofodia today to begin some workshop and deliberation towards the passing of the amendment bill to allow DCEs to be elected on partisan basis in the country. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Juku Ben Sopoku for City News.